Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today I want to show you how to wire smoke detectors. Now I've already cut in my boxes here, uh, stripped and bonded these boxes already just to save some time. Bonded this guy as well. Uh, at the end of my video, I'll have some links in the corner to show you how to strip these wires and how to bond these boxes. So we're assuming here that this is our 14.2 feed power into our first octagon box where we're going to be putting our first smoke detector. And then this 14.3 wire here is going to our next box, which can be anywhere else in your house where the other smoke detector will be attached. So I've already stripped these. And I've opened up these boxes and we're going to be using mostly this, this little jumper, if you will. And this comes ready to plug into your smoke detector in the back. And these are already stripped out of the box. Notice that this orange one is kind of gelled over, glued over. Sometimes it has a cap. Sometimes it hasn't been stripped at all. Um, sometimes these are actually red, but this one is orange. So just in preparation, I'm going to strip these just a little bit more. I think it's easier to wire these with just a little bit more stripped. And I'm going to go ahead and strip this orange one as well. because We're going to be using that. And I'll do the same on this. Just give these just a little bit extra. I think it's easier to work with my strippers here. Okay. So step one, this is your first power side. So we're going to attach all of our black wires together. Black, whites, and then our orange will be on our red. But of course, in good practice, we always want to do our grounds first. So I'm just going to quickly make a connection here with these grounds. I've already bonded one of them to the box, so as long as I make a nice connection here, that's all we really need. I have one that hits the back, the other one we can just tuck in the back of the box. Now we can do our whites next, and the way I like to do this best is to take one of my stranded wires here and pre-wrap it around one of them, and then when I go to make my joint here, one of these is already wrapped. So I can give it a twist and you can see that it's kind of intertwined between them both. And that will make for a fantastic connection. Give that a cap there, a couple twists. Now we can do our black second and we want to use the same strategy. I'm just going to tuck this guy around a little a couple times here. And then I'll take this one and we'll sandwich it in there a little bit, twisting them in between, which makes it really hard for them to come out after. And we'll trim the edge, throw them a red on. Last is the red wire. Now, your black's bringing power in. Of course, your neutral is the return. Now, the red is what we use to interconnect these two smoke detectors so that if one of them goes off, the other one will send a signal through the red to alert all the other smoke detectors to also go off. So if you're sleeping in your bedroom and the fire starts in your basement, well, the basement one will go off, send a signal along this red, which comes out over here to your next smoke detector to say, hey, turn on, wake up the house. So. The way that this plugs in, you'll see that there's a couple holes on the back here that line up with the pegs on the back here. See, there's three pegs in here. There's three holes, two on one side, one on the other side. And you just snap that in when you're done, just like that. And your smoke detector fits on the front of your octagon box. So, the other side exactly the same, except this time 
our power is already coming on our black from our other box so we can make our connection here on our black and on our white now you, it's hard to use pliers to make these connections because the these tiny little stranded wires are not going to twist as nicely around the bigger 14s. So you can just do it with your fingers. Give it a couple twists after. You'll see it twisting the wires just a little bit. Just a couple twists to take the strain off of the inside here. And then this guy, last but not least here, can give this guy a little twist on. Just like that. And you can tuck all of these neatly here into your box. Now you see that we still have, of course, our plug in here. Now this comes apart. You just rotate it, pull it off. So of course, the first thing you would do is line up your screws with your holes here. Once they're in, you can give it a twist. Snap it into place there. Once this guy's snapped into place, we can again line up our two pegs, two holes, one peg, one hole. And you're just gonna snap that in into the back there. And then this guy just fits on the front like so. And there you have it, smoke detectors wired. Thanks for tuning in and watching another video with the electrical guide. Please be sure to like and subscribe.